bit back. over. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause drama in the podcast. <laughs> no, it's okay. Mark's just an idiot. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the On Cloud Nine podcast, starring myself, Justin, and my somewhat wonderful co-host, Mark. That was possibly the least energy. Hi, everybody. Welcome to On Cloud. You want me to try again? I can try again. <laughs> Go on. Um, yeah, we have a really, really, really fun uh, episode for today. We have one of our promo members from our company, Lizzie, coming on later. Um, but anyways, Mark, do you want to know what I did today? What did you do today, Justin? I just got my second COVID shot. So which you're immune. Means I, yes. So when, when what, are you coming to visit me? That's what I was just going to say. We're one step closer to a live podcast. Well, one, one step closer to Uncloud9 uh, Cloud Theatrix podcast live. Well, it's not even, well, you can, we can do it live now, which is in the same room <laughs> or in the same place. In the same room. Yeah. Same place. Yeah. We have like a big, big green screen sheet with a big background on it and we don't have to be in our little boxes. We can all have, our, we can have our own microphones. It'd be good fun. Oh, that would be so cool. Right. <laughs> and then we have like uh, our guest call in or something. Exactly. Perfect. <clears throat> I think that would be a cool thing to do. Oh, that should be a thing we could talk about. That we could talk about in the future if we ever ever do meet up. Doing like a, a live live podcast where we're with each other and just sit on a live stream for a while. That'd be cool. That would be so cool. Anyways. Uh, you check that out, guys, if, if that ever happens. Yeah. 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 <laughs> How are you, Justin? <laughs> I was waiting to see how long it would take me to talk. <laughs> I'm doing really good. Um, Falcon and Winter Soldier started. I'm really enjoying that. I haven't seen episode two, so don't say anything. Well, I'm not going to say anything anyway, because I don't want to spoil it. Even though this will come so what happens up. is um, Bucky, um, he's in it. <laughs> he is in it. I can confirm that. Sorry for the potential spoilers. <laughs> yeah, so sorry, sorry. For all those who didn't know that the Winter Soldier was in a show titled The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. <laughs> yeah. No, I just, I, I, uh, I, I just love Marvel. They've, they're... <laughs> really, I couldn't tell from the Spider-Man t-shirt and the Stark <laughs> Industries hat. I realized it earlier and I was like, oh, I should change my hat. And I was like... You're endorsing the whole company. <laughs> <laughs> and just blur out all the logos. <laughs> yeah. Just, just as a blur today. <laughs> just in blur chatter yeah anyways i'm really excited to get to chat with lizzie find out what promo is like because i don't know i have a little idea it's a little bit chaotic well because you're kind of on the promo team i think kind of not team. i am on the promo team oh okay sorry jeez i am not don't on ever the don't ever dismiss my importance again just... you're not important I actually, I'm the YouTube manager, so no, I... No, you actually are pretty, pretty important in this company. The most important person uh, I saw here. I wouldn't go that far. I would. But you're up there. No, I would, I'd go that far. Anyways, um, let's have a chat with Lizzie. Oh, she's, she's just arriving. She's... Fuck you. Hello, Lizzie, and welcome on to the podcast. We are so happy to have you here. So happy to get to chat to you. How are I'm you? So, I'm good. I'm so excited to be here. Um, I'm a big fan of the podcast. I've listened to every episode. So I'm really excited to be talking to you. A fan? <laughs> a fan? Yeah, a fan. I'm a, I'm a real uh, On Cloud 9 fan. Number You're one Lady, fan. Lady Windermere's fan. Yes, no. exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lizzie, why don't you introduce yourself a little bit just so our audience can get to know you? Sure. I'm Lizzie. I'm part of the promo team here at Cloud Theatrics. I run, uh, you probably haven't seen me too much, but if you've followed our Instagram or like ever re reacted to one of our stories, you've probably gotten a heart message from me back or <laughs> heard from me in some way there. Uh, I also run our blog and our Redbubble team, our, um, our Redbubble shop. So you've definitely seen bits and pieces of me throughout cloud theatrics <laughs> am i right in assuming that all the on cloud nine merch has been handled by you it has been uh it's been placed on redbubble by me uh kathleen actually designed uh the logo so that's all her cool. but 
um, most other things are by me at the moment, and especially the Justin Redemption Arc sticker, which um, I wanted to bring up early because I have a bone to pick with our listeners, my fellow fans, it's that we haven't gotten it trending yet. Um, every single week, I wait for my fan, like my fellow fans to join me in trying to get it trending, and no one will. Uh, so I really need people to pick up the slack. <laughs> yeah, they oh need my to God. sort themselves out. Lizzie's my favorite guest, Mark. <laughs> Well, I am hyping myself up because I did make the sticker, so I really need people. <laughs> what have the sales for the Justin Redemption Arc sticker been? Have they been, been um, I have to say that they haven't been necessarily the best. Sort yourselves out, people. <laughs> uh, I, I, will, I don't think... I'm not sure if... We might have had one or two sales. One or two, so... Hell yeah. I don't think we should get into the habit of yelling at our fans every single podcast, Mark. <laughs> Well, I'm a, well, as a fellow fan, I can yell at my peers, so I think it's okay. That's fair. Okay, no, no, yeah. there we go. Loopholes. <laughs> here, here is your soapbox and get on it. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I know just want to get that out of the way. Um, so everyone, step up. <laughs> so you, you joined through Open Calls. So how did you initially like find out? Like, uh, I found out, I think I saw, well... I might have seen it on TikTok going around that there were open calls, but the main way I found out about it was that I actually went to college with uh, Julia, who wrote oh. Redline, get your tickets for Redline, but um, yes. we wait, went wait, to college wait, wait, wait. together. This is new info to me. I did not know Oh, yeah. That. I went to college with her. I think Kinsey and Madison also were there, but I didn't really know them as well. But uh, Julie and I took theater classes together. We were in acting one together. She was in a play okay. that I wrote. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I saw it on her Instagram that uh, Digital Dramatics, RIP, uh, was having open calls. And I was like, you know what? I should, I should get in on that. And so I applied. And here I am today. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's actually really cool. I honestly, I'm not going to lie. I had no clue how you found the company beforehand i had no clue you had any relation to jewels yeah like, no wow <laughs> we took classes together um we took a class about animals <laughs> some stories we literally just read book it was like we read books like from an animal's point of view like black beauty or charlotte's web <laughs> to <Okay>. analyze it <laughs> an animal's point. uh yeah it was a very interesting class um i learned so much from it, but mainly acting, acting one. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> That's really cool. Yep. Um, so what's it like being part of the promo team? Um, it's really great. I really love the promo team. Um, I love M. Uh, I have to name drop our Lord and Savior M, who is the leader of the promo team. Uh, I believe she she's the manager of the podcast, right? she is yeah. yes okay shout out to her um we we're always trying to <laughs> get everything together so we can do the newest release or newest launch of something right now i'm like just waiting until the new patreon tier is launching <laughs> which actually by the time that this episode is released we will have the new patreon tier yes ex yes that's so exciting so you will have seen my big everyone join the patreon post on instagram and whatnot yeah. um for six uh but it's been so much fun everyone's so nice uh we have jokes we have laughs we <laughs> i ask so many dumb questions and everyone's so nice all the time <laughs> as, as someone who as someone who is a part of the promo team as well i will say that the the chats are hectic and manic yes. and anyone reading them would wonder how any promo gets done Yes, it can get, um, I mean, of course we understand what all of it means uh, because we're professionals and obviously we, got, we have to know all the lingo and stuff, but, uh, <laughs> but it can get a little confusing for outsiders. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, as a podcast host, I feel like I am somewhat of like an honorary member of the promo team because, you know. Kind of. Yeah, kind of. You could, no, you could see out, it that way. No, I'm out here on the front lines doing the dirty work. <laughs> Just in, I, in, in the trenches. Is that a bad reference? Does not talk about trenches? Um, I, I mean, it was a while ago. so I think, you're I think it's uh, time's passed. I think it's okay. Okay. 
from me. <laughs> as someone, with, as someone, with utmost authority it. on the matter. <laughs> as someone who uh, has not been affected by it in any way, shape, or form, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I've never, Perfect. never been in one, so I can't say for sure. But, Anyways, um, yeah, definitely. So what, um, what <laughs> if, like got you interested in like doing promo? Is that something you've like wanted to do or like, like already or? Uh, that's actually a really great question. Um, and now I feel like I have to reveal something to y'all uh, that maybe not a lot of people know is that I actually feel like I've scammed you a bit, Cloud Theatrics, because I really just started doing things like this back in September. <laughs> I am a newbie to digital art. I am a newbie to promotional stuff. And yet here I am, uh, gir girl bossing my way, if you will, to the top. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you're doing a great job so far. Yeah. And like, thank you. Mark, Mark and I don't have podcast experience, and yet we're somehow allowed to do this. Yeah. Of course, of course. I'm pretty sure a uh, great thing about Cloud Theatrics is very few people know what they're doing. <laughs> That's not something we, we all know, know what we're doing at all points in time. Uh, but I've always really liked, uh, <laughs> I've always been interested in like, uh, social media promotion and things like that. I was an English major in college, uh, so it kind of overlaps a little bit in like the writing, like I run the blog posts and stuff like that, and all the little writing copy and stuff like that. It really comes in handy. <laughs> really <laughs> but definitely it. not somewhere I necessarily expected to be, but somewhere I'm happy to be. I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> Yeah, it's well. We're happy to have you here. Thank you. <laughs> especially if you're going to keep promoting my redemption arc like that. Like, wow, I'll, oh. I'll be happy to keep you on every podcast. If that's how it's going to. Oh be. yeah, I mean, I will be. I will start my campaign to get back on the podcast immediately after the episode ends. Next, so. <laughs> next, next episode, it'll be welcome to On Cloud Nine, a Cloud Theatrics podcast with your hosts Justin Cachetta and Lizzie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mark, I'm here to steal out. Mark's identity. I'm gone. So. I'm bye. See you later. Bye. Bye, Mark. <laughs> oh, I really thought he was going to get up and walk away. That would have been oh, really man. Funny. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> no, it's too late now. No, no, but like I said, I'm very happy to be here. Everyone's so talented and so awesome. Uh, and it's just been an amazing experience. And I hope to be here for a long, longer. I like to continue doing that. A long, longer. <laughs> A long longer. A long longer. <laughs> that's the that's the English major at play there. Um, my beautiful Absolutely. wordplay. <laughs> so what what about like like obviously like obviously theatre is a big part of your life, but what like do you like to do outside of that? Well, I don't know if you guys know. Actually, I know for a fact that you guys know this. I'm a bit of a gamer. <laughs> <outside>. Okay. <laughs> because. Um, I like, I recently got into Minecraft, um, uh, Good it's game. going, it's going great. I'm a great, I'm a great Minecrafter, uh, Minecraftian. I, I craft with the best of them. Uh, <laughs> hey, don't you craft with us. We are definitely not the best of them. I mean, you're the best of anyone I've played with, which is just, I mean, it's a very short list. It's just y'all. <laughs> um, but no, I'm, uh. No, you know what? It's not a joke. I'm gonna continue the lie that I um that I'm good at Minecraft <laughs> until it's true. But um, I like to play games. <laughs> I like uh, Animal Crossing, uh, Stardew Valley stuff like that. So Minecraft's okay. a little different than the games I usually play. But I like. Branching out to new far. territory. Yeah, I'm I'm really growing as a, a person. Um, having <laughs> adding new character arcs to my <laughs> to my personality as we go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I also let's see what else do I do um obviously I do digital art a lot it's one of my favorite hobbies uh even though I do it like basically as a job right now I do it. I also like to do it on my own time uh create random stuff uh my current favorite thing to draw is just terrible horrific cats that don't look like they're supposed to you mean like uh, the cats movie <laughs> Yeah, base like I would say that that's my prime artistic uh, uh, muse, if you will. <laughs> it's just drawing cats in ways they're not meant to be represented, um, and 
yeah, I like to do arts and crafts. I like to listen to other podcasts. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm a big fan of this podcast. Unfortunately, I do listen to other podcasts. You listen to other podcasts? <laughs> I know, it's How shocking. How dare you? I mean, usually I just listen to this one on repeat, like over and over again. But sometimes I have okay. to like throw a different one in there. Um, things like that. Uh, what kind of podcasts? I really like... Um, I really like, I like all t- different kinds of podcasts. I like true crime. I like D&D podcasts. I love comedy podcasts. Uh, I love fictional podcasts. Horror podcasts are my current favorite thing. Uh, the Magnus Archives recently ended uh, when we're recording this. Uh, it's a horror podcast. And I really don't, I usually, I used to not like scary things, but like, I'm really, I'm becoming a bit of a spooky gal recently. How? <laughs> How does horror podcast work? Like, what's scary about listening to people talk? Well, it's like um, reading a scary story, I guess, if you've read, like, uh, like Edgar Allan Poe or something like that. But people, like, people acting it out, seeing a scary movie. uh, It's a scary radio show. Is it it, kind of like um, creepypasta? I mean, kind of, uh, as as in they're both, like, creepy, scary stories-ish uh i'm trying to yeah i would say it's a little bit like creepy pasta creepy pastas are always fun because they're either really bad or they're like actually actually genuinely scary <laughs> i remember <laughs> in middle school me and my friends had a big creepy pasta kick and i know there was like a period of time where none of us could sleep because just constant <laughs> nightmares from all the yes, all yes. the looking back probably bad scary stories <laughs> but at the time Pretty damn terrible. It doesn't always have to. It doesn't always have to be written well for it to be super scary, you know. I mean, it definitely helps, but uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I like all different kinds of podcasts. One day, I hope to have my own. Uh, that's maybe I don't know. We'll see. This is a start <laughs> right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when Mark and I inevitably get fired, can take over. <laughs> oh, no uh yeah i mean i'll i'll be here but uh um you can call me anytime <laughs> <laughs> I think if Emma's our manager can she fire us at any point from the podcast That's an i mean question. okay the question is Emma's the manager but the whole podcast was my idea so yeah, can but, she mm, fire me from my own idea by making it depends manager, on if you've you like signed over the rights or not yet i think <laughs> i i I don't know. I've signed a couple of things to this company. I don't read them. You don't, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've all signed the various parts of our soul away, I guess. Yeah. Maybe. I didn't read the fine print, so. To the, to the, to the demon that is Emily. Uh, no, no, I love Emily. I'm, stand- <laughs> I'm standing my ground. She's wonderful. <laughs> and this is how I'm going to get your podcast, if you keep saying these things. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet talk, Emily, until you steal our podcast from Ryan and Lucas. No, I don't want to steal your podcast. As a, I'm, a th- I'm a big fan. What would I do without this podcast? I mean, what would I listen to for hours on end? <laughs> I guess just... Uh, scary stuff, apparently. Scary uh, yeah, podcast. Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> scary podcast. <laughs> so I wouldn't go outside anymore, which um, I guess would be good in 2021. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Speaking of which, um, what, what did you do that like, kept you sane? over the whole you know quarantine oh it's it's a huge compliment that you think that i have got to myself saying there were definitely times where i didn't feel so sane but um basically i really um i really dug down into my to my hobbies perhaps regressed a bit into (laughs) younger younger ways as i feel we all did but um that's that's really I really just like started started getting into art and stuff like that towards the beginning of the podcast not the podcast the pandemic uh (laughs) the panini press whatever you want to call it (laughs) um but yeah I really like started I started painting I started doing needlepoint stuff like that and it really like was a great way to relax and also create something while you're trying not to lose your mind and also I spent many many hours on animal crossing so i owe a lot to tom nook in both money and uh 
<laughs> uh, serotonin. <laughs> Quick question, because it sounds interesting. What is needlepoint? Oh, it's like um, embroidery. So if you like have a fabric mm. or something, you can use thread and make a little design on it. Um, like kind of like a patch, but you actually sew it and stuff. Oh, that's uh, really cool. That's yeah, cool. it's it's pretty fun. It's, it made me feel kind of like an old timey uh, housewife waiting for her husband to return from the war. <laughs> <laughs> So if you're ever looking to really like go into that aesthetic, then I would definitely recommend what's, Needlepoint. What's, what's I it, think I'm today's... always trying to get into that aesthetic. Yeah, Today, me too. Today's podcast has had so many war references. We talked about trenches. It really has. About... <laughs> what is it about today? It's like, I let's don't... talk about war. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um... Let's, Mark really let's, wants the title for this one. What what is it about war? What is the deal with it? Can it <laughs> <laughs> Make love about war. Peace, peace, peace. Yeah. Um I for one am gonna take the stance that I am against it. Um I don't I don't care for it. But <laughs> and Only anyone else trenches. who is silent on the matter needs to step up and say <laughs> The only war I'm about is infinity. <laughs> Oh, it's really bad. We're cutting that out. That wasn't funny. Wow. Um, wow. Uh-uh. You don't get you don't get that satisfaction <laughs> of getting your joke cut out. Uh-uh. <laughs> um, it's foreshadowing the building war against me and stealing the podcast, I guess, is probably the yeah. underlying issue. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> Justin is getting visibly nervous if you are not if you are listening Justin's sweating to the podcast. Up. <laughs> yeah. Panicking. <laughs> oh, it's got really hot in here really quick. <laughs> you alright, Justin? Um, Who knows? No, it's fine, guys. I'm just, I'm just here to, to chill and be one of the podcasters. I'm just here to podcast with the podcast guys. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, so what, like, obviously, like, between, like, um, graduating and, um, now like what like what have you been up to like have you been working like that kind of stuff oh you mean have i have i perhaps worked at a at a theme park <laughs> perhaps <laughs> i think that's the question that we're going for <laughs> it was it yeah, i worded that so horribly you know no, no um i it's just that for those who cannot see i'm surrounded by mickey mouse apparel um <laughs> i didn't even notice that uh, I were <laughs> I I yes after college I graduated and I said I have to go to Florida I desperately need to go to Florida um which is a questionable plan but um I did the Disney college program and I went and worked uh down at Disney World for a while and it was quite an experience it was a time what, what did you do working in Disney were you like one of the people that dresses up um e- Oh yeah, I was a princess. No, actually, <laughs> I was. Um, I was. I worked in custodial, which is very glamorous, and I also worked in uh, merchandise while I was there. So I cleaned up and I sold stuff. <laughs> so is all the stuff that's surrounded by you? Is it just stuff you've stolen? Um. Y- yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm actually a bit of a kleptomaniac. Uh, they haven't really caught me yet, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure saying this on the podcast might be a bad idea. <laughs> but, the, uh, the the mouse will hunt you down. He literally would. He would. I don't. I don't. I'm not. I don't think that's a joke, Mark. You might want to be careful about <laughs> what you say. <laughs> But uh, yes, I worked at Disney. It was fun. There were fun times. There were hard times. Uh, It's a lot like leaving the Disney college program is a lot like leaving a cult where it's like, (laughs) it's it's kind of like if you leave a cult and you go to a party and someone's like, oh, what's the interesting fact about you? And you're like, well, I guess the most interesting fact about me is I was in a cult. So I have to let everyone know I was in the Disney college program. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> i don't know if that's necessarily something people share at parties i don't i feel I, like I, I would share it i think i would say so if i was in a cult i would be like oh yeah yeah i was in the charles manson cult I <laughs> maybe not that one maybe not that one no, probably not. 
<laughs> but um this took a turn um uh, i'm yeah i'm sorry i like to publicly apologize <laughs> Let's let's play the game of see how many things Mark can say that I'll either get censored or cut out. <laughs> <laughs> you um, could just bleep out every time I said cold so no one knows what I was talking about. Stop okay. saying it then. Oh no. no. Um no, so anyways, obviously I'm gonna do this bit because it's funny. <laughs> anyways, you obviously don't speak for the brand or the company. Oh um, no, obviously I do but, not. Like how actually was it because like you're working in the the happiest place on earth so they say is it really as glamorous as they as some people may make it out to be or is it just you know i think that there are some roles at disney where it probably is that glamorous uh i it seems like a lot of people around you are really a lot of people really do feel the magic and stuff like there, and I felt a lot of magic too while I was there. It was it was a lot of, there was a lot of fun, but it was also really hard work. Like as I mentioned, I was in custodial. It's a lot of cleaning up of bodily fluids. Um, a lot of <laughs> dealing with guests. I wasn't necessarily in a park. I was in a, a resort, which is actually kind of nice because it's a little bit less, um, a less space for people to have bodily fluids. <laughs> <laughs> but um it's that play was actually really cool because you get a lot of good experiences like uh cast members can do certain things uh like go th- see things early and i was there when uh when galaxy's edge opened so i got to see galaxy galaxy's edge before like people came i was there like when certain uh the skyliners at disney world we have we have like new skyliners that you can take to different parks and stuff so i got to go on those before they were open to the public uh and I got to like see some behind the scenes stuff which was really cool uh yeah and it's kind of just like a nice little uh cast college program cast member community down there uh it's (laughs) it's it's like I feel like it's a good in between for like you leave school you go to this place and kind of get a taste of the outside world and then you go to the outside world afterwards which ideally would be a a non-pandemic-y outside world but unfortunately yeah. that was not the case for wouldn't me it, wouldn't it be amazing if um disney world was a taste of the outside world if the whole world was just disney world that would be that would be amazing i feel i hey. loved it i love going to disney world uh i know that's obvious with the way disney's coming to monopoly you, you never know oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> by the end of the century the world is basically going to be disney yeah world. soon soon be the going ta- to mickey mart <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a point where the tap in my kitchen will have mouse ears on it. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Can I make that happen now? That sounds awesome, actually. It I'm gonna start putting hitting Mickey's around my house. You should. That's pretty. That's actually a very fun idea. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, it's hard to say. I don't want to. I don't want to make a hard st- take a hard stance on that. But uh... <laughs> I really, I, I, I just love the concept of calling like every worker a cast member. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it seems, I, I really like that too. Less demeaning. Yeah, it's because Disney's all, Disney's all about show. Um, it's it's like because it's obviously part of a m- huge part of the entertainment industry. Every cast, everyone who works there's a cast member. Everyone who stays there's a guest. They're not like a, a someone just coming to buy something. You're all like, oh, you're a guest. Uh, if you're backstage, you're or if you're like not on the floor, you're backstage. If you're out in the park talking to people you're on stage it's a lot of theater lingo which i greatly appreciate <laughs> that's cool <laughs> yeah I, that's like uh, i just think that's so cool I, I yeah and it. then like you'll be walking you'll be backstage uh after um picking up trash in one of the bathrooms or whatever and then like uh timon will walk by backstage and like wave at you and you're like oh hey timon <laughs> <laughs> what's happening and place? then it's traumatizing when timon pulls off his head um, I mean, no, it's the real Timon. I would never. Uh, it's I the would... real. Timon. <laughs> yeah, the, I the mean... cartoon version or the live action version. Um, it's actually the live action version, which is kind of controversial to say, but I'm brave enough to say it. <laughs> 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 but... Who who played who who voiced the live action Timon? Wasn't it? It was Billy Eichner, I think. Oh, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was yeah, him and um, it was... Seth Rogen. 
Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. I, knew, I knew Seth Rogen was one of them. I wasn't sure which one, though. I, I yeah, do want to say, I think those were the best. The Well, I say best very liberally because it wasn't great. Yeah. But, <laughs> like, the best part, some of the best parts of that film, I think. I don't know. I really liked having a Gambino as <laughs> Simba. I, I think that, that, that was one of my highlights. The majority of the Gambino. casting was fine. I will say that Beyonce really got on my nerves. I think Beyonce I, always gets on my nerves. I really yeah, couldn't okay. rem- I really, I think I blacked out, like, through most of it. Be- Lion King is my favorite Disney movie. <gasps> I, me too! I, yes! Oh my gosh! Her, yes! Okay. Lion King is the best Disney movie for me. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> and when I, I was, like, so excited to go see the live action. I, was, I was, had my reservations about it, obviously. And then when I got there, I was like, oh yeah, I was correct to have reservations about this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i mean like i wouldn't say it's bad but if i had a choice good. yeah if i had a choice i would just watch the original because oh, they yeah. like it has the like the best versions of everything and they change dialogue in the live action one like imp- like dialogue that i would not want to miss like the um remember who you are uh from mufasa when he's in the clouds they switched that around and i was like oh that took me out i'm raging in the theater right now but, yeah but yeah i would definitely i definitely prefer the only thing song. i think the only thing i prefer about the new one is that first song because it's sung by the same person anyway oh but yeah it's just like a i mean this is the music nerd in me coming out but it's just like a better mix mm-hmm. it's just like a more high quality version <laughs> of what was in the original so i enjoyed that but yeah yeah, know, yeah. I, that song that song will get me anywhere i am i saw i when i saw uh lion king on broadway for the first time i was just like crying when i started hearing circle of life because it was just like <laughs> it was so moving <laughs> but yeah and also like though it's really cool that they can do all the technology with the cgi animals to make them look realistic but also it kind of needs that um anthropomorphized element Mm -hmm. to it so you're i really thought for a second there that nala was gonna like rip scar's face off or kill like a hyena right in front of me (laughs) and i was like (laughs) that they traumatized like okay i'm like is nala about to like kill this (laughs) hyena (laughs) Yeah, <laughs> I saw like when the movie came out, and people like obviously there's a lot of people weren't happy with it. Mm-hmm. But, like I saw a lot of like edits where like they just made the eyes a little more cartoony, and it was just yeah, it just seemed like it made that much difference because like it just feels wrong. It's like you're watching a nature documentary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like the, but then it's they like talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Jurassic Park. That, like they never thought that like, they only thought about if they could, never if they like should <laughs> make this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I think they should have once Jungle Book, the live action Jungle Book failed. I think they should just give up. I never, I never saw the original Jungle, or not the original, the CGI Jungle Book. I mean, uh, really so I can't, offended. I can't comment on that. But it's uh, they it's really have. The same. I yeah. will say I did thoroughly enjoy the live, uh, live action Aladdin. Oh, I did too. I it was so. Oh, much I fun. just I thought Will Smith was just Will Smith. He's just Will Smith. Will Smith. They did a good job. In fairness, I think. Like, I, because yeah. there, a lot of people were like, oh, Will Smith, he didn't do the same things Robin Williams did. I'm like, but he's not Robin Williams. He's another person with a big personality like Robin Williams. So he did mm. Will Smith like Robin Williams did yeah. Robin Williams. And I thought that was really yeah. good. I think if, if Will Smith had d- tried to do Robin Williams, everyone would have gone, he's just oh, trying he's to just, be Robin Williams. Yeah, he's just trying yeah. to be Robin Williams. And yeah. no, it wouldn't have been original. It wouldn't have been fun. But I really liked it. I, I did enjoy it as well. What I'm hearing is the three of us start a podcast where we review movies. Yes, I think so. I think so. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, everyone ready to add something new to the list of things they have to do? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can guarantee you M will veto any more extra work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have, we have so much going on with this company. We don't need anything more. Oh, but hey, I'm always down. But yeah, I have a lot of opinions about Disney remakes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think everybody does though I they as, don't, as they should as they should like if <laughs> if you're just like oh i didn't really care about it then i'm like okay that's not very interesting of you <laughs> <laughs> okay i don't really care about you then <laughs> yeah if you don't care about Dis- every move that disney makes then why are you talking to me <laughs> i just say one thing i really want i want one of the disney theme parks to make us a wonder vision 
attraction where you get to be in a sitcom. I think that would be awesome. That would be so cool. Hey, yo, awesome. Disney, if you're watching, if you're watching to try and catch Lizzie, why are you at it? Uh, I am me. <laughs> oh, I, I am so excited for event. I've never been to Disneyland. I haven't either. California. I really want to go. But I know for a fact that once Avengers Campus opens, I will be there. Avengers yes. solely. Yes, it, it's like a whole Avengers area in Disneyland. Just yeah. let's go right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mark, they're having. So, you know, Mark, you know, like the like Buzz Lightyear ride or whatever. Have you ever mm-hmm. heard of that? Where it's like you, you, it's a game. They have, they're making a version of that, but it's Spider Man's web slingers. Wait, and really? you, just, you literally just do this with your hands and it'll be like the blasters. Like you don't need anything else. That's cool. You'll be on the ride just shooting webs out of your ride, like shooting webs. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. You're gonna live I'm your like, Spider-Man Tom Holland dreams, just kidding. I know, I know. Well, you can go. They're gonna have like they're apparently gonna have like a Spider-Man animatronic thing that flies through the air outside of Reef once in a that. while. And I'm like, so you need to, this is a hot tip from someone who worked at Disney. You need to get there as soon as possible because the minute that thing breaks down, he's not coming back. <laughs> And it's not, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. It's a matter when, of when. It is a matter of when. So... <laughs> well, um, Mark, I, I think I showed you that video at one point of the animatronic that just basically did a flip. It just yeah. flies through the I air. Did, did I show it's you? It's craziness. Yeah. It's insane. It's so cool. Like, I, I think animatronics are really cool. Oh, yeah. I, I um, love... I, play, I played enough Five Nights at Freddy's to not... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these will. I mean, every animatronic at Disney definitely comes to Night at Life uh, and walks around. Comes uh, to Night at Life. Oh yeah, that's. Adrian, <laughs> 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 you coming out again? It's, yeah, I mean, I I try so hard to hold in the English major inside of me, but sometimes it just really bursts forth, uh, saying these things that are very eloquent. So. <laughs> nice, nice. I do have to admit that no matter how old I get, the Yeti will always scare me yeah. i don't know why it's just, it's, it's just... very big and it's, it's got strobe lights on it i would have i would have loved to see the yeti when it was oh. in its heyday uh when it actually worked <laughs> <laughs> yeah. speaking of animatronics that uh are that die <laughs> Sad. i want to go um to see i heard the one that's for the avatar is really good oh it's so good i love i love uh pandora uh, the Pandora World and Animal Kingdom. I've never seen Avatar, and you don't need to to like it. <laughs> but, um, it's a good movie. I highly recommend. It. It's a good movie, but it's like what three and a half it's hours. It's very long. So long. Sometimes I think I should watch it, and then I'm like, but it's really long. <laughs> it's really good. But it has. But they have one of the best rides, like at Disney World in that land. Flight of Passage. It really like the wait is so long, but it really is worth it. It's amazing. Like uh it like you're literally flying it's like it has like water effects it has all the smells it's oh, like spectacular i love that i can't like hype it up enough <laughs> disney's just they're, they're doing everything right that's that's all um well, well, well actually that's i'm not gonna go that yeah. far <laughs> they're doing a lot of things right. Lot, right they're doing some stuff that's like really they do a lot of uh, they'll, they do a lot of things Let's be careful though, because I'm pretty sure that Disney's lawyers are a lot better than ours. <laughs> our lack of. Yeah, our yeah. lack of. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we're. I'm just saying, as a as a fan and person who goes to theme park, person who cares about the theme park industry. These are my opinions that Disney. The way to <laughs> spread word about the podcast is to get into a lawsuit with Disney. <laughs> Yeah, um, maybe that. <laughs> maybe oh we could God. like start some beef with one of the biggest companies around. Uh, have them crush us because to the ground. <laughs> that, no, no, because then, then when we destroy Disney, there is room in the market for us to sort of. Swipe yeah, it. or it's like they buy out Cloud Theatrics, and then we become a Disney property. Now there is we we. Join. I'm fine with uh, I'm fine with that. That's, ha- that's kind of the alt- alternate path where we like join the <laughs> monopoly. We become part of the Disney join Kong. forces. Yeah, which I mean, hey, whatever. Just, can you imagine animatronics of us doing backflips? That would be. I awesome. don't think that's exactly. It's what just happened. animatronics of y'all podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we won't have to do anything anymore. <laughs> yeah, just get the um, robots to do it. <laughs> Switching away from Creepy Mark and Justin animatronics. Um, before we run out of time, I was just curious, like, um, 
So you work for a theater company, obviously. Yeah. So what are some of your favorite musicals or plays? I love so many musicals <laughs> and so many plays. My, I, my top two favorites might be kind of basic, but I don't care because they're my favorites. And they're classics for a reason. Is I love Wicked and I love Les Mis. I think Les Mis is one of the most beautiful musicals ever. It makes me cry every time. I was in, Les, I was in a production of Les Mis in high school. It was my high school's production. I was Madame Thenardier, not to toot my own horn, but you know. <laughs> but... Um, those are definitely like my top two favorite musicals. I could listen to them over and over again. But right now I'm also really into Great Comet, like uh, Natasha Pierre and the Great Comet of 1812. It okay. didn't get its due. It didn't get to stay on Broadway long enough. Uh, they mm -hmm. had some drama, but I love that show so much. It's amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, Hades Town too. I love good show. I heard Hades Town was good. I need yeah. to. I, I've been told to listen many times, and I have not yet. So I'm I started listening to Hades Town. Literally, this is how long I've known about. When Hamilton came out, I saw concept art of a costume for Hades Town, and I said, "I am keeping track of this." So I've literally just like waited. I they they had an original live recording of the first time I did it. I listened to that so many times and then they went to Canada and then they came back to bra off Broadway and then they went to Broadway and I was just like waiting and waiting until they released the Broadway original soundtrack so I could hear like all of it. <laughs> I, I want to sleep on a pillow made out of Patrick Page's voice. Yes, I have to agree. <laughs> <laughs> and just like wrap myself in a blanket of Amber Gray's uh, exactly, voice as well. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then just like have Josh Groban sing me to sleep uh, going back to uh, Great Pierre, uh, Great Comet, I mean, because Am Amber was in that too. So. <laughs> cool. Yeah, but I love musicals. They're one of my, also one of my favorite pastimes. When I'm not listening to a podcast, probably listening to a music soundtrack. <laughs> or horror podcasts. Or horror podcasts, of course, of course. <laughs> um, Justin, do you have any more questions? I do not. Okay. Well, Lizzie, it was lovely to have you on. Uh, do you want to plug any social medias? And sure. Like um, I have an art Instagram account called Lizistrations. Uh, it's where I post all of my random uh, art that I make from my horrible cats to fan art of the Muppets, whatever. I have a red bubble there too, so check it out. Uh, maybe give me a follow uh, if you want. Uh, but I've had such a great time on the podcast, guys. Thank you for having me. Of course. Of course. Thank <laughs> you so much for joining, and hopefully we can talk soon. Yeah. Brilliant. Thanks for being on. Bye. Bye. Wow. Okay, so that derailed as, about as much as I expected it to, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um... <laughs> Yeah, but you know what? You know what? It was fine. And uh, for, <laughs> if we end up having to have cut out eighty percent of what we said, it would just be a really short podcast, and you'd have no idea what I'm talking about right now. I don't know why, but I was just about to say something that I probably shouldn't have said. Well, I guess now that makes me thing. sound even worse. I was just gonna be. I was just yeah. Gonna... Now, now everyone's gonna be sat there thinking, <laughs> well, "What was he gonna say?" Ready? Okay, we we can just beep it out because I don't because I think it'll just be funnier. Say it, man. I'm going to say it, but then no one's going to know. I was just going to sit there and just be. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I think I'm slowly spiraling into a psychotic break. <laughs> hear, me, hear me out. The in intro for this episode is just a close-up of your face. Going... <laughs> Mark, I'm losing it. You really are. This man has not slept. Did you stay up last night to watch Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Yeah, but I did sleep. But like, you went to sleep at what? 4 a.m.? 4 a.m., yeah. Then, I, then I had to get up to go get my shot. <laughs> so this, this man is not only running on the fact that he's just had a vaccination, he also is now wearing sunglasses. Um, but Swag. Also... I'm ashamed to know you. <laughs> not an exaggeration even in the slightest i'm ashamed to know you is one of the like most genuine words you could have used <laughs> that's the title of this episode i'm ashamed to know you <laughs> oh, that makes sense that checks out you know it makes sense um but no that was awesome and we um we actually have a little bit of a a little bit of tea for you guys so if you didn't know 
Uh, if you haven't been looking at our Instagram and our Twitter and our other social medias, <laughs> you, that was... you won't know that we have now got our official season selection. So we can tell you all about it. So we are doing, <laughs> we're doing the lightning thief. Let me die over here. You keep going. <laughs> we are doing the Lightning Thief as a mini prod on our tier two of our Patreon going up with six. It's going to be amazing. We are doing a miscast cabaret similar to the uh, original cabaret we did. Uh, this one is going to be miscast though. So it's going to be people playing roles that they never would have ever dreamed to play. We're also going to be doing Antigone, <laughs> which is a show. I <laughs> don't know show. much about it. Um, and we are doing She's the <laughs> Conquer, which is also a show. Um, is that is that everything? Yeah. <laughs> and obviously, as you know, we're doing the red line. The red um, line. Yes, I am in that. Mm, yeah, people do know that. I just got really worried for a second. The uh, we're gonna use you going mm, to bleep things out from the mm, mm. Um um but yeah it's gonna be uh it's gonna be an awesome awesome show as you can tell by the fact that i know all of them um and it's gonna be really a fun. season what yeah. but like life's a show really isn't it no life is one big show we are all actors except me i'm not an actor <laughs> <laughs> i i'm i am ashamed to know you yeah thank you um you're so welcome so I think okay, hear me out though. Mm-hmm. I've heard some of these six songs that are getting finished. They're terrible, right? I'm joking. I'm joking. You're so idiot. I'm joking. You're, They're really good. I really like them. No, shit slaps. It does. Shit it really, really slaps. slaps. They're so good. Ugh. I can't. I just like. I want everyone in the world to hear our shit. Well, unfortunately, that, that's, that, that's it. That was the sentence. Well, see, listen here. Justin wants everyone in the world to hear our shit. However, the only people that will be able to hear it are the people who subscribe to the Patreon. Therefore, if you want to make Justin's wishes come true, which you failed to do with the hashtag Justin, that's fine. The Justin Redemption Act, we've moved past it, and that's okay. Well, Nope, we've moved past it. However, if you want to make Justin forgive you, if you want Justin to forgive you, which he's very contemplative about, then you need to subscribe to our Patreon and watch the six videos and enjoy the six videos. You'll enjoy all seven of them because I think <laughs> not all of them. So some of them are going, to be, are going to be free to listen to, I believe. However, not all of them. Therefore, subscribe to our Patreon, tier two. You're going to love it. It's going to be amazing. Six dollars. Six dollars. You know what? Six dollars for six. That's, think about it like this. There's seven <laughs> songs going up and it's, it's less than a dollar per song. Less than a dollar per song. You know, we're giving you rates that even iTunes don't supply. Do you remember iTunes? Do people even buy money off iTunes anymore? No, buy, no one buy don't buys money off iTunes. It's, That's not how it shut works. Up. However... But, no, maybe boomers, old people. Boomers, <laughs> okay, boomers boomer. buy songs. That's but, the new hashtag no. we're gonna trend. Hashtag boomers buy songs. Oh, and DJs. And DJs, yeah. Well, no, DJs use Spotify. But how do you use Spotify? Because plug it in. Well, yeah, but if you're, um, yeah, that makes sense. I I think so. I was thinking more like real DJs and then I realized they use their own music. So I was like, I guess yeah. they don't pay for it. The DJ Khaled. Wait, wait. How, how does that work? If you're an artist and you want to put your songs into a playlist, do you have to pay for them? What? Like, okay. Say you wanted your song on iTunes. Your yeah. own song. Yeah. Would you have to buy it? No, Justin, because you would probably have the file. Well, yeah, but what if you want to put it in your playlists? Well, I mean, I use Spotify, so I'd use Spotify. Well, yeah, I'm talking about iTunes, you 
Well, imbecile. it wouldn't make a difference because you just buy it and the money would go back into your bank. Yeah, that makes sense. So, you know, it's fine. Um, but yeah, subscribe to our Patreon. Subscribe Ignore to- all the stupid comments. <laughs> I, I see nothing. I see nothing but facts. What? No stupid comments. It's all facts. I, I you lost me. Honestly, I lost me as well. Let's just end this thing. I'm tired. I am also tired. Good night, everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna go uh, lay my head down on an on cloud nine Baby. pillow. Yeah. Justin, what I just tried you... to plug our red bubble and you decided to sing. I lay by your side. Mm. Sam Smith's Sam Smith's our next guest on the podcast. Yes, yeah, fun fact next week uh, join for Sam Smith. Thank you so much for joining us. Go visit our website at www.cloudtheatrics.com. Yes, that is www.cloudtheatrics.com. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of On Cloud Nine, a Cloud Theatrics podcast. We will see you next time. I've been Mark. And that's been Justin. I've been Goodbye, Justin. friends. <laughs> Bye. On Cloud Nine, a Cloud Theatrics podcast is produced in affiliation with Cloud Theatrics. However, not all of the views or values expressed within this podcast necessarily reflect the views or values of our company. This podcast stars Mark James and Justin Gochetta. It is edited by Mark James and Justin Gochetta and produced by Emily Foster. Thank you for listening and see you next time.